So we are back, ladies and gentlemen, with a new episode. Continue right where I left off in Acorn Plains, and I'll finish up this area, and then we'll go on to the next section. And yeah, um, for those of you who don't know, back when I was younger, I broke my first Nintendo GameCube controller by pounding on the ground so hard, breaking the control stick, and um, putting a hole through it because I stomped on it so hard um, due to my anger. Because back when I was younger, I had a really bad anger problem when it came to video games. And the reason this was is because I was trying to get through the game Metroid Prime for the Nintendo GameCube. And I don't know if anyone's ever played that game, maybe they have, but it's one of the most hardest GameCube games, in my opinion, um, that I had ever played. And I managed to beat it um, with breaking one of my GameCube controllers, obviously, but... I don't really mind that. Um, well, I did at the time, because after breaking it, then I had to buy, spend $40, and that was back in the time where I would only make $10 a week. I used to have chores, and I would do those chores, and I would make 10 bucks every week, which, if you think about it, $10 a week is very little. That's $40 a month, which is hardly anything. But back at the time, I figured that was a lot of money, because, well, games were $50, and I would say I could get a game every month, so I would have a total of... 12, um, about 12 games a year I could buy with $40 a month. And I would go to GameStop and Game Crazy. I wish they still had Game Crazy. Still, was, That was one of my favorite game stores, but ever since uh, GameStop pretty much bought them out, it's been very disappointing. Game Crazy always had better prices for video games, I thought, in my opinion. I wish I had a girl to play this game with me. That's like that's like my number one problem. It's not the fact that I'm playing video games, it's the fact that I have no one no girl to play this game with me. It would be really fun to have a girl with me playing this. Oh I Oh cool, he lays an egg. I had no idea that if you get all those little heart pieces that it lays an egg for him. That's awesome sauce. Don't run off the cliff, Yoshi! Oh, he died. How sad. dumb they are, they just... Mario, uh, Yoshi needs a, uh, a, like, a attack button. Like a, you know, like a lunge. That sucked. I hate it when I don't get to the top of the pole. That's what she said. The stripple pole. I've actually seen the, the, the big long pole at the end of the maps. So I always think of a stripper, like a strip pole, not actually whatever you're supposed to think of. I don't even know. Now what's over here? What is this? Alcorn Mushroom Heights, okay. This game looks so pretty on HD, I have to say. Thank you, Nintendo, for finally getting... Well, what amazes me about Nintendo is, number one, the Wii, the normal Wii, did not have HDMI, and Nintendo's always been, like, y several years behind the technology. And they finally, this year, got HDMI, or went to HD. But the interesting thing about this is that... Um, Although the Nintendo has always been, you know, behind the technology by several years, they have made number one every single year. Every year, they have come out since 2006, Nintendo has come out on top. Even with 
hardware and technology that's behind the times. Which proves that you don't have to have a super fancy system in order to be popular. Because, you know, so many people are like, you have to have good graphics in order to make a game. You have to have all these things which make a game. No, you don't. You don't have to have HD graphics in order for people to play your, your hardware or games that you make. Uh, Nintendo is a great example of that, in my opinion. Anyone ever seen the movie The Little Shop of Horrors? Yes, horrors. Not horror like a girl, but horrors. Like a horror story. Very strange movie, but very interesting. Oh, wow. That's... Uh... That's so what I thought I got I thought I got a flag in there. Why did I have to restart this again? That's stupid. Oh, I did get a flag. Never mind. I stand corrected. No mushroom! Oh crap. I'm probably gonna die at this now. Yep, look at that. Fail again. Oh. Arrgh, oh. We will get past this, I promise you. I want my flaming fire. Uh, wow, I almost jumped at the wrong time right there. Does Mario ever change his clothes? Think about that, ladies and gentlemen. Does he ever change his clothes? Thanks a million for your help. Here, take this. <gasps> I've already had one of those already, so that's really not that much of a gift, but okay, whatever you say. Oh, I can use it for my inventory slots or something, I assume. Um, Let's see. Items. What does the star do? I don't know. What does the star do, guys? I don't know what it does. Here we go, Bowser's Castle. Da 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 da. Let me swing back castle. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. So good. Man, they really like to make you earn, try to earn your coin. Oh, come on. Don't fall in the lava. How does Bowser... I'm curious to how does Bowser build 
these things. Like, how does he build these bases? Because he has so many of them. It's just like I asked the same thing in Star Wars. How do they build the gigantic spaceships and all those things? You never see how they're built. They just kind of exist. It's like dungeons and Final Fantasy and other- Oh! I didn't know I slide. Here's the doors. They're red this time, or blue this time. And I'm colorblind. Let's do it. Whoa. Come on, fight me. Fight me like a man or woman. Is Bowser a male or female? I don't know. What? This is what you call a challenge? Oh crap, he has bombs. See, I can fly. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. I ruined the streets of Gotham City. There's nothing you can do to stop me. Swear to me! Haha! Mario, <laughs> <laughs> Mario number one to give me some meat to balls! Uh, 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 uh. You would think that after all of these different Mario games that they... Bowser would finally... Uh, Mario would finally do something to keep Princess Peach safe. But does he? No, he doesn't do anything. Save. Yes, I would like to save. <gasps> the desert. Layer cake desert. It's a bit bigger. Let's do it, do it. Stone Eyed Zone Layer Cake Desert 1. Woohoo! <laughs> Come on, Mario, you can do it. Thank you. Stand, 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 stand. And. Ugh. Those flying chipmunks, I do not like them. Boom. Turtles. Movies. Uh, Edge of Darkness. That's a good movie. It's sad, but it's a good movie. I'm talking to my mom, by the way. Ugh. No, most of my vi movies are either sad or uh, involve somebody dying or lots of deaths. Those statues with eyeballs looking at me are very eerie. Pedo bear. So he's looking at my pants right now. So I'm assuming I can stand on that. Yes, good. Barely made that jump. T 
timing in Mario games is pivotal. And jumping is too. Uh, oh. No. Uh, that was Mario Sunshine. I taught my mom how to try to play Mario Sunshine. No! Whew! I just about died. I taught my mom how to play Mario Sunshine, or at least I attempted to try to teach her, and it did not work out too well. The game was very difficult even for me to play. Ba -ba 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 -ba. How do I pick up the stupid thing? I want to pick up the sh turtle share. Ugh. Turtle shell, not throw it. Oh god. Seriously? <sighs> don't worry, Lee. We will get past this stone eyed zone. I will pass it this time. If I don't, I will. There's nothing I can say that I'll do. I will pass it this time for sure. I still gotta get through Far Cry 3. I'm almost... No, 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 no! Oh. Whew. That was close. I thought I was doomed. I thought we were doomed! But, ah, oh, two! What in the world? I just pressed the jump button and nothing happened. Nothing. Ah. Something's messed up in my controller because I pressed the jump button and he just kind of fell into the hole of doom. I'm. This is my last attempt and if I don't do it this time, I'm just done. I'm going to have to take a break because I'm getting too, fu uh, p too pissed right now. For such a simple thing, you would be... Seem to think that the jump button would work half the time, but it doesn't. Fine by me, I don't even care anymore. I'm gonna die anyway. Come on, go up. Thank you. Yay, I made it. It's a miracle. And I didn't have to break my controller or leave prematurely. Finally, we get to move on. What is that thing? Oh, this is terrible! Some re weirdo stole a bunch of my stuff! And he's so fast, I'll never catch him! Mario, you've got to help me! Okay, I'm not sure what that does, but... You may never see it again. Oh. Very well, I'll go help you, you stupid idiot. Launch me. Launch me! I just launched a long shot. Catch, Nabbit, catch! How do I actually catch him? I do not know. Thank you. 
<laughs> Why? Ugh! God damn it. So, how exactly am I supposed to catch him? I don't know. That's stupid. You know what? I'm not even gonna. Fr I'm not even gonna screw with that. I'm just gonna c continue to go on because I don't feel like chasing that weird, creepy face-looking creature. A waste of time. Alright, let's do this one. Desert 2. And after this one, then it will be done for this episode of... Nintendo New Super Mario Bros. Oh, oh, those things look really scary. Can you imagine if your testicles had to look like that with green scary things on them. I would not like that. See, look at that. I should have landed on his head. I don't like that in this game. I actually land on the head of the creature, and yet somehow it still kills me. I just took her pee. Oh, come on. Grab this. Ugh, Mario. Grab the big star. I want the big star if I can actually get it without trying to die. So far, so good! Eh. This exactly isn't getting easier. How am I supposed to... Yeah, that, that, that doesn't make any sense. Pokies, pokies, pokies. Hilarious Pokey Cave. What I need to get is I need to get uh, my little flame ball thing to kill him because, quite frankly, this is getting way too hard already if I don't have the ability to do that. Come on, go, 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 go. There we go. That's what I need. Then he steals it again. Wonderful. Huh. Ugh, I'm not gonna be able to make this already, I can tell.
There we go. I can pick. I can't pick them up. Good, 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 good. See, look at that. It's insane. I can't do anything when they're stuck up there. Arg! Go away, you prickly prick pricks. How am I supposed to... Well, I guess that did work. Never mind. Halfway point, yay! I'm surprised I managed to get that far so far. Yoshi! Excuse me. Crap, I do not like this. I can't see what I'm doing. Yay, we're back outside. Yeah, that didn't work very well, but nonetheless, 100 points is better than 0 points, right? Okie dokie, guys. Thank you for watching episode 2 of New Super Mario Bros. U. I will continue on next episode, and I will finish the whole desert area. That's my plan. So each episode, I'll, I'll finish a certain section in the game, whether it be ice, snow, desert, whatever. So thank you for watching.